Welcome to our deep dive into one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in the United States, California's High Speed Rail, or HSR. This episode highlights the Merced de Fresno segment, a crucial backbone of the system. The California HSR aims to connect the Bay Area and Los Angeles with modern, sustainable, and efficient transportation. This isn't just about fast trains. It's about shaping California's future by creating jobs, reducing environmental impact, and revolutionizing travel. Let's explore how the Merced de Fresno segment plays a pivotal role in this transformative journey. The California HSR system is designed to operate at speeds up to 220 miles per hour, significantly reducing travel times. It's being built in phases. Phase 1 links San Francisco to Los Angeles via the Central Valley, and Phase 2 extends service to Sacramento and San Diego. The Central Valley, particularly the Merced de Fresno segment, was chosen as the starting point for several reasons. 1. Geographic connectivity. It sits between the state's northern and southern economic hubs. 2. Economic growth potential. It provides opportunities for job creation and economic revitalization in underserved areas. 3. Growing population. Addresses increasing demand for efficient travel options. The Merced de Fresno stretch spans about 60 miles and mostly runs parallel to State Route 99, forming a vital link in the overall system. This segment showcases advanced engineering and innovative designs tailored to address the unique challenges of California's diverse landscape. Track alignment. Elevated tracks in urban areas minimize disruptions, while surface tracks in rural areas ensure efficiency. Stations. Two key stations are planned. The Merced station serves as a connection hub to the Bay Area, while the Fresno station integrates local and regional transit systems. Environmental sustainability. The project is powered by renewable energy and incorporates features like noise barriers and wildlife corridors to reduce its ecological footprint. Protecting the environment and supporting communities are central to the project. Air quality benefits. By reducing reliance on cars and planes, the HSR will cut millions of metric tons of greenhouse gas emissions annually. Wildlife and farmland protection. Wildlife crossings and land preservation measures were carefully designed to mitigate the project's impact on sensitive ecosystems and agricultural areas. Community engagement. Public hearings and consultations allowed residents to provide feedback, shaping solutions for displacement and urban development concerns. Construction of the Merced de Fresno segment began in 2013 utilizing a design-build method that integrates planning and construction for efficiency. Key milestones include, in 2009 environmental studies were initiated, by 2011 public hearings led to the approval of final designs, and in 2013 groundbreaking for the Merced de Fresno section took place. Significant progress has been made, including elevated track installations and preparations for station construction. The Merced to Fresno segment will deliver far-reaching benefits, including job creation. Over 3,000 construction jobs have already been created, contributing to the local economy. This doesn't just benefit construction workers, it has a ripple effect on local businesses, suppliers, and service providers. As the project progresses, long-term operational roles will also emerge, including train operators, maintenance crews, and station staff. Travel between Merced and Fresno will take less than 30 minutes. A drastic improvement compared to current road travel times. This shorter commute opens up new opportunities for employment and education, enabling residents to access resources and opportunities previously out of reach. The stations in Merced and Fresno are expected to become hubs of activity, fostering new businesses, restaurants, and real estate development. These economic zones could transform the surrounding areas into vibrant, thriving communities. The rail system supports California's climate goals by reducing fossil fuel dependency. By replacing car and plane travel, the HSR reduces emissions while also decreasing congestion on highways. This shift not only benefits air quality but also contributes to public health by lowering exposure to harmful pollutants. 
The project encourages smart urban development around the stations, prioritizing walkability, public transit, and efficient land use. This could reduce urban sprawl and protect valuable agricultural lands. Like any large-scale infrastructure project, the high-speed rail faces challenges, funding gaps. Financing relies on a combination of state bonds, federal grants, and private investments, which have been difficult to secure consistently. While California voters approved a $10 billion bond in 2008, the project's total cost is projected to be significantly higher, requiring innovative funding strategies and federal support to bridge the gap. Community Resistance some residents raise concerns about displacement and the impact on farmlands, requiring the development of mitigation strategies. Farmers worry about losing valuable acreage, and local governments have expressed concerns about the potential strain on existing infrastructure. Effective communication and community buy-in remain critical to overcoming these hurdles. Technical complexity. Designing elevated tracks, tunnels, and wildlife crossings to meet both technical and environmental standards has been demanding. These structures must not only meet safety regulations, but also integrate seamlessly into existing urban and rural landscapes, adding to the project's complexity. Legal and political obstacles. The project has faced numerous lawsuits from local organizations and governments opposing aspects of the rail's construction. Navigating these legal battles has delayed progress and increased costs. Workforce challenges. Finding skilled labor for such a specialized project has been another issue. While the project has created thousands of jobs, it also highlights the need for workforce training programs to ensure there are enough skilled workers for future phases. The Merced de Fresno segment sets the stage for future expansions. The system will eventually connect north to San Jose and San Francisco and south to Bakersfield and Los Angeles. Interim service between Merced and Bakersfield may start before the full network is complete, showcasing the benefits of high-speed rail and building public support for further phases. The California high-speed rail isn't just a state project, it's a model for the rest of the country. The Merced de Fresno segment exemplifies how infrastructure can create sustainable travel options, stimulate economic growth, and address environmental concerns. As the first major high-speed rail in the United States, it paves the way for other regions to follow suit. The California High Speed Rail Project is a monumental effort to modernize transportation, reduce emissions, and connect communities across the state. The Merced de Fresno segment highlights the project's potential to transform how we live, work, and travel. Thank you for watching. For more updates on this transformative project, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Let's keep exploring the future of infrastructure together.